Hey guys, it's me, Warren Gamer 54 back in another video, and today, I said I was going to continue off what about my reaction video on Fred, Freddy and Friends on tour, episode 3, and now here comes the fear rising. So, as you can see, as you can see right here, I am currently on my channel. Okay, I am currently right here on my channel. Right, see, right here. And I am pulling up a picture, well, a frame, really, of Montgomery Gator from my first ever, no, not my first, my second video on Freddy and Friends on Tour. Now, as you can see, as you can see, there is... Montgomery Gator, okay? I told before that I don't, you don't see the glasses, you see his eyes. And if you can look right me here, here, you can see cracks, okay? Like his body has been damaged. His body has been damaged already. Now, at the time, I didn't think it was cracked. I didn't think it was damage marks because I thought it was just, you know, the pictures of the frames. Heck, at the time I thought this was an endoskeleton right here, if you look over here. And I was like, nah, I don't know. It could be just the glitching effects. Okay, this was me back in the time, alright? Now, if we go over here... This is, we are now in the video that I post today. The video that was posted today. As we found this one of Glamrock Chica. Which I already explained on the, I already explained on the reaction video. So, TLDR, this, I made comment saying that this picture is most likely showing us the Glamrock Chica that we found in the sewer that is most likely going to be appearing in the sewer level once we get to that point. Notice how there is a visible lack of, an, of a beak. And here we have Roxanne Wolf. Yeah, here we are with Roxanne Wolf and like I comment, like I talk about it in the reaction video, I saw a bit of endoskeleton right here, and for some strange reason, the the face has gone off. Now, it could be just it's just a coincidence that maybe they did that, or they're implying that we that Roxanne Wolf lost her face, kind of like how Withered Bonnie was in FNAF Two. Okay, so where am I going with all this? Well, if we look at here, we have the spider animatronic that I, well, I commented saying that this was the, hold on, just let me have, pass me, pass me, take it away. You see how it crawls? So, what past me already showed you is essentially that. We saw the one, we saw it like walking. Now, I think some of you are already knowing where I'm going with this. But what if all this is intentional? What if that the, the Glamrock animatronics are getting damaged? Like, say, like, down the line, like, down, like, as you play through the game, okay, as you play through the games, you're going to see less and less of the animatronics. I'm predicting that the first one to go will be Glamrock Chica, like, you'll start seeing her less, like, to the point that you think that she's gone. Like, that the game automatically fanos her away. Like, 
Thanos snapped her away. And then, honestly, the second one would have could have been it, the next one to go would probably be Montgomery or Roxanne Wolf. But I'm put because it's it's up to you to decide who you think might go next. Cause Glamrock Chica. Look, no hate, but what we've seen of her in the trailer, she seems to be only going through small spaces and nothing else. That's about it. As the time of this video is recording. But, in the trailers, in the trailer, we saw Roxanne Wolf can run fast, and it seems that our that Gregory doesn't have no speed ability. It's not Dark Deception around here. And Montgomery, he has the strength advantage. Like, he has the strength advantage. And, you know, the strength could come in handy if, you know, you need to get through different parts of the game. Well, or rather, you know, Montgomery Gary to bash through the gates to get to you since you apparently got through either by going through an air going through a vent or something or some other way or you know having a 1v1 with Glamrock Freddy I mean we don't know what Glamrock Freddy's skill set is but no doubt about he must have be a powerhouse or something so who knows? I mean, I, I, I'm still kind of hyped to see if we do actually see a a fighting cinematic, a cinematic scene between Montgomery Gator and and Freddy and Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Freddy versus versus Montgomery Gator in a fist fight, while Gregory has to evade from Vanny or Roxanne Wolf or heck both. And you know what? I'm going to predict that this is what's going to happen. This is the face. This is the face of the creature coming back. The Afton amalgamation, if you would. I'm predicting it now, okay? And you know what? I'm going to predict it. I'm going to predict it now. This is the face of the Afton amalgamation. We are going to see the Afton. This is Afton's truth going to be his new form. That, I guess, you know, some... Some kind of weird and disturbing, like, new endo body for him. For Glitchrap to, to, in, to infiltrate and possess. For Afton to finally come back to the world of the living. Using parts... Using parts of... Well... The parts of Roxanne Wolf, Glamrock Chica, and Montgomery. And this will be his new form. And you know, I mean, I guess, uh, who knows? I mean, sure, this looks, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a interesting choice for Vanny to choose this, considering the back of the head looks like birds but you know I mean it could be like these are just a artistic visualization uh, artistic drawing of the of the crows looking dumbfounded at Afton's new form noticing the face and the purple tongue and I mean you could say I'm going crazy but but people on the people have been Thinking that this, this right here, I know this is a little pause moment, but this is not visually a, like, black screen because there should be no detail on it if you look closely. Hold on, let me get a better view. Here we go. As you can see right here, we have that screen right here looks a little too detailed to be like those black lines you see in statics. Perhaps Afton Malgamation could have some sort of black tentacle. Who knows? I mean, it's not the craziest stick, craziest design that the FNAF universe have gave us. 
I mean, you call me crazy thinking that this black ink is some sort of tentacle for the Afton amalgamation or whatever Afton's new body is going to look like. But then again, but then again, Scrap Baby had a roller skates on and she has a human, she had a large, she had a large mutated hand. Let me just show you. But yeah, it's not the weirdest thing. I mean, look at Scrap Baby. Roller skates and a huge metal claw as a hand. I don't know why I scream. That actually hurt me. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. The potential storyline... Well, an A or B story, most likely, is that not only are we trying to evade Vanny, but we're also trying to invade the uh, Glamrock animatronics who's been effective, aside from Glamrock Freddy, who seems to be our ally. Who seems to be our ally as of right now. I mean... Because, I'll be honest... There's something about Glamrock Freddy being behavior that's getting me a little suspicious. But I won't. But I think that's a video for another time. But anyways. So yeah. My prediction is that that spider creature thing is most likely going to be the Afton Amalgamation. Not how the book... Not how Fazbear Frights pictured it but especially not 20 a 20 feet amalgamation <laughs> oh dear if that's the case then uh well there there's no need to continue the FNAF story because we're everyone is doomed okay everyone is doomed everyone is doomed like if Thanos came right now and there's no Marvel superheroes to fight to fight against him that's how that's how doom Everyone in the FNAF universe is, if that's the case. So yeah, Vanny is most likely destroying the, the Glamrock animatronics who are failing her. And failing her master glitch trap. And using their bodies for parts for Afton's new body. So yeah, guys. That's the end of the video. Like and subscribe. And yeah. See you all later.